Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and today I'm going to kind of combine my Saturday Shelfie tour with a book haul and an author focus. And the reason I'm doing that is because some of the books on my shelves are books by Miss Reed. And I also was able to pick up a pretty good sized box of Miss Reed books during the month of March. And so I thought I would just combine them into one video and show you the misread books that I have. I actually don't know where on my shelves I'm going to put these new books. The ones I've had previously I had with my Christian books and I don't think they're specifically Christian books. I think they're just clean books but there's not any more room on that shelf so I took them off of that shelf and now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put them but I thought it would be fun to just show you all of the misread books that I have and tell you a little bit about that author. Now, I have to admit, I have not yet read a misread book, but I know that they are books that I really, really want to read. Misread, of course, is a pseudonym for Dora Jessie Saint. She was born on April 17, 1913, and she died on April 7, 2012, just a few days short of her 99th birthday. She was an English novelist and also a schoolmistress, and at some point in her life, she was a scriptwriter for the BBC. And she predominantly wrote two series. The Fair Acre series has 20 novels, and the Thrush Green series has 13 novels. And they were written from 1955 to 1996 when she retired. So just over 40 years, she wrote 33 novels. I don't know if she wrote anything else during that time, but she is well known for those two series. Now, I did not know anything about the Misread series until I started doing book sales at the public library. And even then, I didn't see them very often. I think they're the kind of book that people just want to keep. But I did see a few trickle in, and I remember asking one of the other ladies about them, and she said, oh, yeah, Miss Reed, you would like those. Those are really fun. Those are cute. And so I thought then that was something I should probably look into. But I knew that there were so many books in the series that I didn't really want to set out to collect them all because I have so many other books. But every once in a while, I would start to see one here and there, and I finally decided just to go ahead and get them. So I'll show you the ones I had on my shelf already, and then I'll show you the box full that I got at the library in March. The first two books that I ever picked up are actually newer editions, and I guess what made me finally decide to go ahead and get these is that they have a blurb at the top from Jan Karen. Jan Karen is probably my favorite author of all time, even above Fanny Flagg. I love the Metford books and they're just amazing. So I figured if Jan Karen was going to put her endorsement on the misread books that I should definitely give them a second look. What she says here is if you've ever enjoyed a visit to Mitford, you'll relish a visit to Thrush Green. Well, I would live in Mitford if I could, <laughs> so I know I'm going to enjoy reading about Thrush Green. So I got the first book, which is called Thrush Green. And then at the time, I thought this was probably the second book, but it turns out it's the fifth book in the series. It's called Return to Thrush Green. Then I remember showing these in a haul last year. I found these at another library, and a couple of them are just really old. I just thought these were so fantastic. They are all from the Fair Acre series. This one, I believe, was from the 60s. It is called Over the Gate, and it is book five in the Fair Acre series. This one is called Emily Davis, and it's book eight in the Fair Acre series. And then book 13, Village Affairs. And then I got this at the library where I go to get uh, the fill a box for $5. And it's called Summer at Fair Acre. And then also in March, I got Village Centenary. This is going to be in uh, my book haul, in my regular book haul video. I found this earlier in the month at a thrift store, I believe. And then later on when I got the box. There is a, an older copy. This is book 15 in the Fair Acre series. So here's the box that I got at the library. I got this entire box for $10. There are 16 books and there are a couple of uh, duplicates of books that I already had, but for that price I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, eight of them are from the Fair Acre series and the other eight are from the Thrush Green series and all of the Fair Acre ones are farther down in the series. So I got number 12, No Holly for Miss Quinn, 13, Village Affairs, and this is one of the ones that I already have. Number 14 is The White Robin and this one is really short. 
And if you didn't notice, all the ones from this box are library editions that are, um, they are all library discards. So they've got the plastic cover and the stickers. I'll see if I can remove uh, some of the stickers, but it doesn't bother me that they're library editions. I'm just happy to have them because I really just want to read them, not necessarily collect them. And uh, this is also another duplicate, Village Centenary, and it looks like this one is about a 100-year-old person. And it is number 15. Number 16, Summer at Fair Acre. Number 17, Mrs. Pringle. And on Goodreads, they have one listed as Mrs. Pringle of Fair Acre, so I'm assuming this is the same book. Number 18, Changes at Fair Acre. And number 19, Farewell to Fair Acre. And it sounds like this would be the last one, but there is a 20th one called A Peaceful Retirement. Okay, on to the Thrush Green books. So I have book four, Battles at Thrush Green. I have a duplicate of book five called Return to Thrush Green. Book seven, Affairs at Thrush Green. Book eight, At Home in Thrush Green. Book nine, The School at Thrush Green. Book 10, Friends at Thrush Green. Book 11, Celebrations at Thrush Green. And this is book 12, The Year at Thrush Green. So I have not read any of these, but I understand from reading about them on Goodreads that, that they are set in two fictional English villages. Of course, one is called Fair Acre, one is called Thrush Green. And at least in one of the series, Miss Reed is the narrator of the book. It's from her perspective. I don't know if she wrote all of one series as Miss Reed and then moved to a different village and wrote all the next series as Miss Reed, I'd, or if she wrote them simultaneously. I forgot to, uh, to look that up, so I don't know. But I know that um, they are written from the perspective, or at least one of them, one series is written from the perspective of Miss Reed, who is the school teacher. In just reading a little bit more about Dora Jesse Saint in the Goodreads bio, I learned that her most direct influence was Jane Austen. And then in turn, she had an influence on other writers of today. And of course, my favorite, the one that brought me to these books in the first place is Jan Karen. So that alone makes me really want to read these books. I think they just look fantastic. I love good, clean, entertaining stories that are historical in nature. I am just really super excited to read these. And if you have read any of the Miss Reed books and you can tell me anything about them, then please let me know. I would love to, to find out about them. But I have a feeling that these are also going to go on my list of favorite series of all times once I get them read. So I just wanted to show you my Miss Reed books, which is partial book haul and partial Saturday shelfie tour. And an author focus. So I'm kind of killing three birds with one stone here in one video. And that's all I have for this video. So I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.